at you guys. We're taking a look at a 75,000 BTU furnace. Um, we got correction. The heat exchanger gym was out yesterday to diagnose that. Looking at replacement of that and possibly evaporator coil. The supply plan, I'm going to look at replacing this from this slip and drive that's right here. Bringing this all down. New metal, um, new coil, new furnace, and then put a base underneath it just for better airflow and to make up the difference in height. Um, on the return, uh, we have a pretty large return. We want to look at probably coming here on down. we got about 56 inches. This is where we can allow for our five inch filter to come in between here. And then from the point of here, 13 and a half inches over, puts this right at our seven inch mark to allow for the filter. Um, again, like I said, to the ground is about 56 or seven inches. I got it written down. So we'll make that just a hair shorter so we're not scraping. Um, if we go with 80%, flue piping gets replaced. We do have a, a flue liner, so we are up to code here. Um, and then line set. Um, runs up and runs over. This is all exposed. This goes into another room um, and then straight out to uh, where the AC I think sits in the back of the home. If she decides to go with high efficient, we can go out through that way too, bring the piping back and then catch the furnace. Um, just need to modify gas piping and the electric. She has combustion air vents. We're up to code here. There's combustion air vent there and down below. I think we got everything. Oh, one other thing. So drain comes over. She's actually running in this track. Um, and she's been here for two years. I guess it's always been this way. So I think it's okay. It's running in this track coming over. Um, the whole basement's been kind of lined with this uh, this type of material. It's got a dehumidifier. And then we got a drain here. So we may want to put it into there or just run it in this track. We'll just have to kind of uh, take a look at that when the time comes.